Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2014 family fantasy cartoon called Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. Fawn, a talented animal fairy, frequently gets into trouble for harboring dangerous creatures in Pixie Hollow, such as bats, snakes, and, most recently, a baby hawk. She is advised by Queen Clarion to listen to her head, as well as her heart. While teaching bunnies how to hop, Fawn discovers a mysterious creature lying in a cave, which is apparently suffering from a thorn in one of his paws. Fawn tries to help the beast and discovers that it is not vicious. Over time, she forms a bond with the creature, whom she names Gruff, and notices he is building rock towers. Meanwhile, an ambitious scout fairy named Nyx investigates the situation, researching in the library to find out what she's up against. Using some information gathered from several torn pages of an undisclosed animal book, she discovers that Gruff is actually the Never Beast, a legendary creature that awakens once every millennium, when he will build and use rock towers to transform into a terrifying beast that could destroy Pixie Hollow. Fawn reassures her friends that Gruff is harmless, but they remain skeptical and Tinkerbell tells her, even if he isn't a threat, Pixie Hollow isn't safe for Gruff. One day, Gruff disappears and ominous green clouds start forming in the sky. Nyx and the scouts head out to capture Gruff. Realizing he is building towers in each season of Pixie Hollow, Fawn searches summer while Tinkerbell heads to winter. She encounters Gruff, who is beginning to transform into the beast from Nyx's legend. Tink tries to encourage him to hide, but Gruff slaps her aside with his newly grown tail, knocking her unconscious. Fawn arrives on scene and is shocked to find Tink on the ground. She watches in horror as Gruff sprouts a pair of huge wings, matching his horns and tail. He disappears and Fawn rushes Tinkerbell home. Heartbroken at the realization that Gruff is really a monster, Fawn agrees to lure him into Nyx's trap and Gruff is captured. Tinkerbell wakes up and explains that Gruff saved her from getting crushed by a falling tree. Fawn realizes she misunderstood the whole thing and flies off to rescue Gruff. She and her friends manage to free him, but his vision is hindered by the knockout nightshade used during his capture. Fawn finally realizes what Gruff is there to do, he absorbs the lightning from the storms using the towers in order to stop it destroying Pixie Hollow. She tells him to follow the glow of her wings, and the pair head off to the towers. The plan goes well, until Nyx destroys the final tower, believing Gruff to be a danger. With no time to rebuild it, Fawn leads Gruff into the eye of the storm where he absorbs every single lightning strike. Gruff pulls Fawn out of the way just in time, and the two of them fall to the ground, ending the storm. Gruff's horns and wings are destroyed, but he is saved by Nyx's scouts. Fawn is also caught, but she has seemingly been killed by the power of the storm. As Gruff mourns her, the lightning he absorbed makes a spark which revives Fawn, much to everyone's delight. For the next few days, Gruff helps rebuild Pixie Hollow until Fawn realizes it is time for him to hibernate for another 1000 years, meaning the fairies will never see him again. The fairies sadly guide him back to his cave in a send-off ceremony and try to make his slumber as comfortable as possible, while Fawn passes on a new legend to future generations of fairies, one where the Never Beast is not a monster, but the hero of Pixie Hollow. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.